Good afternoon, YouTube friends and family. So, it's been brought to our attention based off of some of the comments and everything that we've received on some of our videos that everybody wants to know what we're using to actually clear our land. What attachments, what tools, and everything else that we're using. So we're going to go through and show you all everything that we've been using up to this point. Hopefully that helps you out and gives you a better understanding of what we're actually using to do this by hand, more or less the hard way. So, first tool that we've actually used is gonna be your standard loppers. This is a Fiskars tool that we ended up getting from Walmart. It has extendable handles on it to allow it to actually adjust and be able to get into some of the harder to reach places. Use this for a lot of the smaller saplings and vines and things in the area to actually cut those down. The next tool that we've used is your standard weed eater. This one is a Craftsman WS220 or 22,000. It's a regular two cycle engine. And from what I've seen and what we've received or watched on a lot of the different channels and reviews is you need to have a straight shaft tool to be able to use a lot of the different attachments versus the curved attachment that you would normally get for your house. So the first attachment that we actually had is this one. This is a Shakespeare brush cutter head attachment. These pieces right here are plastic. proven to be very beneficial it cuts through everything really well the only downfall of this tool in this piece is it doesn't and gets caught up around this head and keeps the um, the rotor in this thing right here from spinning once we figured that out we decided we needed something different Watch a couple other YouTube videos to find out another attachment for brush. And we came up with this. This is the Trimmer Plus AH721. It is a hedge trimmer that just attaches to the end of the weed eater. This one actually has a reticulating head to where you can change the angle on how you're operating with this to give you better angles and let you cut through the brush a little bit better point of something we need to talk about with this is with these is make sure you oil them or oil the blades before and after your uses that way they stay sharp they continue to do what they're actually trying to do so with this one this is what we've been cutting through a lot of the other taller grasses and a lot of the other brush with a lot of the vines it cuts through them a lot faster and a lot easier than the other blade one because it's got a lot more room and a lot more that it's working with the last tool other than the lawnmower is your standard chainsaw right here we've got a craftsman s180 it's an 18 inch bar this thing is proven very effective with cutting down a lot of the trees the larger saplings that can't be cut through with the loppers this thing has just been a godsend with us getting through a lot of this thick brush that we're dealing with out here. Um, with this, all of the links for these items, most of everything we bought here came from either Lowe's or Walmart, but we will add the links to all of these different items in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you again with our next video.